<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline. Now, if the audio sounds a little bit different, it's because I'm recording in a different location and don't have my regular microphone. Dear Duckling, hi, guess who? No guess. Because it's more fun that way, that's why. Have you already, Kitten, have you already forgotten? It's me, Jeanette. I was just sitting here in my big boring bedroom, all by, oh, we've already been to see her anyways. Uh, so we could delete that one. Oh, we have business in Hollywood. Billy has made an offer establishment. So go to the cafe in Hollywood and uh, help out a little bit. The cost of an attack is often paid later. Very cryptic friend. Mitnick here. I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica, the old place called Megahertz Computing. Uh, power up the terminal, find the net security folder, and run the Shrek net command. Password on the folder is Till O'Gill oh, Bates. Uh, don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. End of the second street, Santa Monica. Entrance is through the back door, so you'll have to find an alley to get back there. Leaving you a key for the door in your mailbox. Uh, hey, Beckett! Hello, young one. A fellow Gangreal named Scott suspects that there is a kindred, uh... Oh god, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, there is a Lissambra here in L.A. recruiting kindred for the Sabbat. He saw him disappearing inside the L.A. public library. As I'm preoccupied right now, please meet him in the Santa Monica smoke shop to learn about the details. After all, we wouldn't want anything bad happening to all the precious knowledge. True, I suppose. If you're reading this, I guess you're still among the undead. Got a proposition for you if you're not too busy. Won't be too difficult this time, Bertram. Lots of going back to uh, Santa Monica now. For all that you did to me, oh, it's VV. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today, came across something that might tickle you. Kid used to live here, had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. I got a touch of nostalgia, so you find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me, and I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox, and I'll deliver this to your haven. <laughs> Larry sent me an email. Hello, Larry. Okay, so we need to find a videotape of... Tap Hotel. Where the fuck would we find a Tap Hotel video? I don't know. We'll have to go looking for that. Where's my lady? Um... Darling. Oh, there you are. Okay. Wanted to make sure she didn't disappear. Right. So, to Santa Monica, I suppose. See you guys there. Good evening to you. Hi, Thomas. I'm looking for the Scott Wolf. I beg your pardon. Sometimes he's a man, sometimes he's a wolf. No, I, I, I really don't understand you. Ah, thanks for, thanks for nothing. I'm sure the wolf wrote me a letter. I guess I'm not speaking. Oh, you're the one I'm probably speaking to. Hello. I'm looking for the man who's sometimes a wolf. Okay. Ah, yes, of course. This man looks rather important. I can't get down. Hello? Hey, Beckett, I couldn't wait for you as the black guy left early. Check out my old laptop hidden in the abandoned coffee shop. I left the door unlocked, and the password is the name of our clan. Oh, shit, what clan does Beckett technically belong to? I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. Mm, eventually. Speak, my shadow may once again fall on the showman's lair. I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Fair enough. <laughs> I will rom this. 
Mm, great, great. Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it and bring it back. You got it, Bertram. See you later. Duh, it's gang roll. Of course it is. That's what he fucking said earlier. Uh, okay. F first. There we go. While researching for a history project in the LA Public Library, I noticed the La Sombra entering the art room. I sneaked in, obfuscated after him, but the room was empty. I waited until he returned and followed him down into the sewers through the hatch I used to enter myself. He climbed to the streets nearby and visited several clubs. Today, the Sombra went into the old house downtown with the red symbol. I followed him in after a while, but only found a black guy who asked if I had been enlightened. I left and noticed the agent of the... Is that footprints? I left and noticed the agent of the prince entering the building some time later. Soon afterwards, the black guy ran out and moved into the sewers where I lost him. I followed the Lasombra in a cab to Santa Monica. There I watched how Lasombra entered the old junkyard, probably to talk with that uh, caitliff living there. Before I could do something about it, the agent of the prince arrived and suddenly Lasombra teleported nearby. I hope I wasn't spotted. Again, he took a cab back downtown to his lair in the LA library. Fixed a meeting with Beckett in the Santa Monica smoke shop. I overheard... seems to be a regular guy. I overheard that he wants to meet someone at the end of the Santa Monica Pier, and this must be the La Sombra. Hope he'll start from the smoke shop so Beckett and I can easily trail him to the guy. So to the pier it is! Did somebody just shut the door on me? Yeah! Let's go! Are you a vampire or are you a human? Human. You were just an asshole. Okay then. That's fine. Cool. Beckett, I think the Lasombra is aware of me and this may be a trap. In case I don't make it, check the downtown sewers for the entrance into the library basement. The hatch is openable now. Oh, Crap. Okay, so back to downtown then. Which I needed to go to anyways because I forgot the key to this stupid uh, coffee shop that we were supposed to be going to. Okay, net security. Uh, it was Gil Bates, was it? No. So we want Shrek net. Nice going kid. I'll email you with instructions for the next hub. Beautiful. I can check that when I go back to uh, Hollywood. For now, or to downtown. For now, we're going to go to Hollywood and help the prince out. See you guys in a minute. Alright, this should be the restaurant. Critic, critic. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I'm not the one who waits. I wanted... I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Hmm. Many greetings I bubble forth to you, stomacher of multitudinous ethnic, ethnic dishes. Hello. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Hmm. Uh, I have only one finger for you, and it is not my thumb. Oh, hey, wait. All right, uh, you are not known to me. Should you be? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour... 
Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Perhaps. Uh, the Tommy Flayton, my heart has stopped beating. Always good to meet someone with similar tastes. Hmm. I could never eat here. Escort me to a dark place. You know, now that you mention it, the gnocchi was a bit cold, and the ravioli might have been store-bought. Also, the decorum's a bit lacking, isn't it? This place is just an overpriced cafeteria. No stars! So, now that that business is out of the way, care to join me for a drink? I know this fabulous place over in Lehigh. <laughs> no need to leave to give me some tasty liquid. All right, moving on. We're gonna see Isaac while we're here. Isaac. Evening. The flesh crafter who walked with royalty is not so crafty now. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. All right. Evening. Evening. Here. And thanks again for Ooh, your Pearl help. Pearl of Dubai. Here. And remember what I told you about Lacroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. Thank you. Uh. I am as wasted as my talent. Goodbye. Uh, what does the Pearl of Dubai do for me? Oh, a boost to my charisma. Excellent. I could use a boost. Right then, we need to go... Back to the Nosferatu. But where was their entrance? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, my hands are blood red. Now where is the green? Here. You definitely earned it. Life is the rich and the dead. I leave you. Oh, I lost some humanity. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna just lose all my humanity. What are we at now? Good God. Alright, grab the tape while we were down there. Get this gate out of my face. Bertram, I'll bring you your tape. Ah, back so soon? Did you make it to the Warrens and find my data CD? Accept the Silicon Tribute, your nastiness. Ah, excellent. Now listen up, fledgling. You might want to take notes. Bits and bites bubble from your brain. I need more data. Like what? Ah, uh, nothing else. But that put some pieces into our computer, I do believe, yes. Excellent. So, back to uh, downtown. Uh, oh god, what else do I have left? That that's waiting for right now. I don't. I'm trying to figure that one out. Um. Check our email about that. Uh, I can't get to the tape just yet. And then over to Chinatown because I'm waiting on email from him as well. Actually, I need to go to. Going Before I go downtown, I need to go to Hollywood and see Isaac. I think I might be able to get another mission from him real quick. Gargoyle. Hmm. I can see that's got your attention. Sorry about that. Tell me of this stone one. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. 
I can't have that monster attacking Kindred in my city. Fair enough. Uh, how does one smash a stone? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Oh, thank you. Mm, let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's go go to the lobby and kill ourselves a rock. Woo woo! Now we can actually go get information about the uh, golem uh, by visiting our dear friend Strauss back in downtown. And since I need to go get my emails from downtown anyways, that will be our next stop. All right, let's take a look at our emails. Tommy Flayton's review. Recently there Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the uh, Cavalletti Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you that I am extremely happy with his conclusions. You've done well. Please accept the payment I've left for you in your mailbox. We will have, we will no doubt be seeing each other soon. Indeed. Another theater. The Nocturne Theater in downtown. No one can know you were there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it once it's in the net. Once it's in place and activated, log into the net security folder. Password is break a leg and run ShrekNet. Enter through the sewers. Oh crap, I fucking hate going through the sewers. It's across from the Empire Arms Hotel. Cameras in the cool. Yes, thank you. Okay. So, well, I guess since we're in downtown, I love little... Well, I gotta go see Isaac. Except we're right here anyway, so let's go to. I guess go figure out the sewers. I hate trying to figure stuff out in these sewers. Strauss, darling, I'll return to you. Left and right and left. Hello. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Why would trade words, Wizard King? Of course. Uh, I seek knowledge of gargoyles, the stone-skinned blood golems. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? One haunts a theater in Hollywood. Tell me more. What can I tell you about them? Uh, your eyes had a secret wizard king, a blood secret wizard king. Tell me of this blood golem. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. You fathered this fiend? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to be rid of it. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I will keep this secret. Or this sorceress secret. I appreciate What do yeah. I need to do? Take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Gift appreciated, but how do I destroy the demon? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hives are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. Oh dear. Tell me more of them. What can I tell you about them? Ah. Uh... With much oh, yeah, well, What enough. can I tell you? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful, 
and not to be trifled with. Created by the blood sorcerers? Yes. We used our extensive knowledge of blood magics to create a race of protectors. They served that purpose well, but they have also caused many problems. It's a complicated issue. What color is this complication? Well, many gargoyles still serve the Tremere Masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Hmm. What can I... No, that'll be it. Nothing else, thank you. So, down into the sewers we go. Okay, so it looks like I found the theater I need to be in. Now, he said I need to be going up. Assuming he's referring to up there. Ooh, there's a ladder right here. Now, the area is supposed to be marked with a red X. third one here. Come on, there we go. Not a lot of time right now, gotta make this quick. Metalhead Industries, Hollywood Warehouse, Operation, Keys in your mailbox, set up on the set up the hub, terminals in the operations, back of the warehouse, top of some stairs, locked electronically, work the problem. They're gonna have tight security, but you gotta keep it this dark. They can't know you were there. Same drill, see ya. Fair enough, you alright there, buddy? Right, let's actually make sure we get the key this time. you all abominations a curse upon the earth <laughs> there will be no more talk death for you demon death and final darkness
Evening. I admit, I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside, but I'm glad to see you've proved otherwise. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. LaCroix's chosen his agents well, I won't deny that. But in time you realize just who you serve. Excuse me. How can I be of assistance? Of course. You did. That's quite an accomplishment for one so young, Neonate. And with discretion as well. Again, you impress me. And your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment. The Tremere clan appreciates your confidentiality.